Hi, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. You know that old expression, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? I would like to suggest that from a biological point of view, that's not true. What I learned this year with my roses is that what didn't kill them made them weaker and more susceptible to subsequent infection. I had a heat wave at the end of June that affected some of my new potting really, really badly. The things that I'd potted in late May that were establishing beautifully and then suddenly heat wave, the release of fertilizer in the pot wiped out the new roots and the ones that survived struggled and struggled and struggled over the next few months until eventually I just looked at their condition, had to give up and throw them away. That's one of the lessons I learned in 2021 is that when you're hit with a really hard set of conditions on your plants, sometimes you have to look at their condition and cut your losses sooner rather than later. Today I wanted to talk about some of the lessons I've learned from my mistakes here on the Rose Farm and of course some of the things I have to celebrate as well. I do a recap like this every year. I know it doesn't suit everybody but some people are curious about how we've done in the business and how you make a small nursery work so that's what I'll be discussing this in this video. Well I'm going to be up front here that the largest challenge I faced this year was time. It was to do with work-life balance, trying to fit in my day job with the job here on the farm, with YouTube, and with raising a young family. These did not all fit well together and in some cases I ended up lacking. So that issue with the roses burning out due to the heat wave, I could have prevented most of that. If I'd just been a little more on top of watering, if I'd offered a little more shade, if I'd taken them out of the greenhouse where it was getting really, really hot, if I'd had the time to manage that, to micromanage that, I probably could have resolved or avoided some portion of the damage, even a large portion of the damage. But of course I was hung up doing other things and that's where I really failed this year. That work-life balance thankfully did resolve later on in the year. And I think I mentioned early in the year I had a video was, uh, when can I quit my day job? And then finally I showed you later in the year that I have finally retired from my day job. So I should be able to focus a little more directly on these things. And it was a lesson for me about trying to prepare for those unexpected weather events. So the heat wave did pass, but I knew that unexpected cold could come this year. So we built a heated bench for the greenhouse back here. And thankfully over the last little few days, we've had uh, a terrible cold snap and I had enough heat underneath that bench to keep that all the, all the young roses on top of there uh, within a few degrees of freezing the whole way through. So I was ex extremely happy with that. Uh, so I learned a lesson, I applied it, I'm happy with that. One of the other concerns that was related to my lack of time was my ability to grow other plants. Most of my sales this year was in roses and I didn't mind that. It seemed to be a good turn to the business. But what I had done in previous years is I'd grown a lot of perennials, a lot of annuals to go along with it, uh, some interesting shrubs. I try to give a, a wider assortment of plants, try to send the message that roses are good companions in the garden and offer those things on the farm here. This year I fell behind on that quite a bit. I didn't do as much seeding, I didn't do as much propagation. I didn't bring in as many plants and I could see that in the results a little bit. Certainly we'd had a better year than ever in selling roses but the companions fell by the wayside and I hope to, to fix that this year. Now to some positive results. The YouTube channel did really well this year. I saw some really good growth. I was really happy with the topics that we covered. Uh, some videos did better than others. Certainly the propagation videos do really really well and when I go kind of uh, uh, specialized onto small nursery or selling or software or anything like that. A little bit less so, but I still feel like that's part of what I want to do here. So uh, I try to mix it up a little bit, go with rose topic videos, go with propagation videos, go with small nursery stuff. And uh, one thing I did this year that I really liked is that I reached out to other growers and other uh, influencers and other people around the industry to get them in on my videos as well. So I collaborated with Ashley from Gardening in Canada, uh, the Rose Geek, we had a video together. I went up to Kelowna and visited with Serena from uh, You Can't Eat the Grass. So it was actually a fun year that way. I got over to Mark's Plants, that's another place I visited and did a tour of. And I always find that when I visit other growers and, and see what they're doing, uh, I come away inspired because, I mean, I don't know everything and, and meeting them and seeing what they're doing really gives me a lot of food for thought. I always come away with a lot to process. So that's a direction I enjoyed and that's something I want to keep up in this coming year. Uh, as for other things, well, I have to say I'm super excited by the fact that we did the retirement and 
we got a lot done on the farm here. I can't show you right now, I can't, I can't show you the results, but truly it is in better condition than it ever has been before. The rose field behind me here, which we established just before last year, so about two years ago, was kind of in its infancy this year. Uh, I'm expecting that we will see a lot more growth and a lot more flowers this coming year. Uh, and all around the farm, we've planted more, we've maintained more, we're just in better condition, and we've put in a lot of the pathways and a lot of the signage and everything that we uh, talked about in our recent tour videos to prepare the nursery for retail. Uh, this will be our first year opening retail. Now, I, I will say we have opened up for events before. We've had certain days where we've invited people in by appointment, but this will be the first time where we sort of target a real uh, open for business Fridays and Saturdays, come on down uh, and walk around, shop, enjoy, that kind of thing. So it's going to be an interesting thing for us and I've enjoyed the process of getting there. Uh, some, one of the things we did is I hired somebody part-time. I haven't really discussed that on the channel here, uh, but it has helped me over the past couple of months to get uh, the landscape back into shape after long neglect on my part and has helped us to get the facilities ready for next year. We're going to be using, uh, I'll be using uh, his help to get in uh, irrigation in the next little while and to install a lot of the things that we need to have ready for this coming nursery season. So that's something I'm really excited about. All right, that's it. I wanted to just keep you up to date with some of the things that we didn't do so well this year, some of the things that we did fairly well, and also those things that I'm excited about. And this year should be a good one. Uh, stick with us. I, I expect to do a ton of nursery and backyard nursery type videos on the channel, but of course I still will be doing a lot of the instructional videos on general gardening and roses and everything else. I'm kind of uh, a mixed bag that way and I know it, uh, probably to the detriment of the growth of the channel, uh, but it's just, uh, it keeps me interested and keeps it interesting for you, I hope. All right, thanks so much for watching.